What is up, six squares in a straight? This is Shy. I am your normal Tuesdays on here. Um, so this week's topic is basically a life update, a vlog, pretty much vlogging, I guess you can say. Um, so I'm not gonna really bore fire you guys. I'll kind of, I don't know. Uh, if you really want to know what's been up with me, you could check out one of my personal channels. One, the main one I post on is posted on uh, the main page on here, so you can look that up. Um, so what's been up with me? What's new? Well, I've been going through a lot of crap this past month. Uh, the last time we had the blog update thing was when I was supposed to get surgery, and I was nervous about it, and didn't end up happening. So I've been dealing with the fact that I should have been over a month post off by now, but I'm not. So, I've been dealing with that. Let's see what else is new with me. Uh, as you may tell, facial hair over here. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Da, da, da. So yeah, I've grown a lot of facial hair. I'm going through another, like, not growth spurt with me taking tea, but like, I don't know, like, my voice is getting deeper again. I'm growing more hair on my face. Um, my hairline has gotten more masculine, as you can see. Um, I'm almost 10 months on testosterone, which is insane. Um, let's see here. I'm looking for jobs. I'm trying to find a part-time job, which has been pretty much held back again. Um, I'm thankful that I live in a state of where I have a law backing me up where they can't. And the, here's gonna be a book. Here's gonna be a double negative, but I'm gonna say it anyways. That they cannot not hire me because of me being trans and being pansexual, because that's how I identify, um, and genderless and whatnot. And they also can't fire me because I am trans slash genderless slash pansexual. So. Uh, that's something that's definitely awesome that I have. I mean, they do have ways that they get around it, which really suck, but it is what it is, basically. Um, so I've been having to apply to jobs, which has been hard. Um, it's just hard because my name isn't legally changed. I have to put my legal name. Um, I mean, I can put down my gender, mar my gender as being male because it, it's all, you know, human resources stuff. Um, once I get there in person, obviously they'll be like, okay, you're female, if I give them my ID card and stuff. <clears throat> but, um, you know, that's been a uh, struggle with me, I guess you can say. Um, I'm trying to go through, I think they call themselves, like, now Access VR, they used to be called Vested. Um, I'm trying to go back to school, so that's cool. Um, trying to find a new psychiatrist, I'm talking to the new one today for a few minutes. Um, I don't know, like, it's been a hard, I've been, like, yeah, I've been making my videos on here, I haven't been MIA from here, because I love Six Squares of Destroyed, I love you guys. Um, but, in general, life has been really rough, and hell, I've been having a lot going on. I don't know why, but whenever we have these vlogs, uh, something always has to go wrong. Brittany? Why, why, why when you make these, do things have to go wrong for me and my friends? Why? I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, a, a lot, ten, for some reason, the last time around, things were a little more, like, negative and not as, you know, upbeat. Um, things seem to be getting a little bit better. Um, today I have to go, well, I'll tell you the, some uh, other news, you know, today I have to go get a blood test. You guys don't know I have hypothyroidism, and if you don't know what hypothyroidism is, and I'm kind of obsessed about my, uh, my, my moustache, um, hypothyroidism is basically a low level of y your thyroids. Your thyroid level is low, so they're basically going to be checking that. In a few weeks, I have to go and get a blood test for my testosterone. This Friday, I have my shot, which I always look forward to. Cause I like having testosterone in my body um, and not estrogen. Um, also today when I go to my doctor I'm going to ask them for um, a 
gynecologist list or whatever, um, because I am going to be seeking a hysterectomy really soon. Um, and they know I'm trans, so they're not going to be sending me to someone who's not LGBT friendly. Um, they will be like, okay, this person's not LGBT friendly, let's send Shy there! No. It's going to be kind of interesting sitting in the waiting room and then, like, actually going up and then, you know, knowing that I'm a she and my doctor knows I'm transitioning and I'm on testosterone and stuff. And then seeing my facial hair and then seeing my, you know, long, um, sideburns and stuff and be like, wait, how, you know, this makes no sense, but they never question me or, like, the person who brings me into my appointment never questions me. They're very respectful and awesome there. Um, the doctors there respect me and it's really awesome. Um, and my therapist is really awesome too that she calls me shy, which is like, I kind of got so happy. She actually asked me, um, she's like, do you want me to call you shy or do you want me to call you by your biological, like, what do you want to do? And I said, like, can you call me shy? And she said, sure. So it's like, it's like really awesome because it's not even, my name isn't legally Yeshaya, which is my, my legal name. I'm not going to give you my middle legal, legal name, the middle name I'm going to use, but my legal name will be minus the middle name is Yeshaya Storm and once I eventually change it so it's kind of cool um and by the way Storm is a biolog biological Storm is a family name of mine because like probably 99.9% .9 of you are probably staring at this computer screen saying Storm is not a real last name you can't be a Storm Storm is not a last name blah blah that's my mom's maiden name Storm is my mom's maiden name, so it's a family name. It's not something I just picked out a hat and said, you know what, I think my last name should be Storm, and it sounds right, so when I legally change my name, I'm going to change it to Storm. Even though 99.9% .9 of people do not know what my biological last name is, which I will not go into. All I will give you a hint is that it is one of the most common Jewish last names that's out there. Alright, I'm not going to boreify you guys anymore. I will upload this as soon as I can, and I will talk to you guys soon, and have a good day. Peace.